I'm in charge of the Orlando Dartmouth Duke User Group and wanted to thank you. Who would ever think that we'd be here on a Sunday, Sunday morning, talking about Dartmouth Duke? And also, thank you for sitting up in front. I feel honored that I'm better than some of the pastors in your church. When you go to church, you usually sit in the back, and here we are at Dartmouth Duke, and you're sitting in front, and I really appreciate that. So we're going to start in a couple of minutes. There's some late arrivals that are coming. Uh, we are very impressed with the number of people that will be here today. There's going to be close to 200 that have signed up. Uh, Joe Haley from Microsoft, who put all of this together, was absolutely thrilled uh, that we were able to get those numbers here. Uh, most of you are coming from the Florida area, and it really was not affiliated with TechEd, although we wanted to get some of that run over people either coming in early for this event or stay, possibly staying late for this event and I think our advertising to them got a little bit late and that's the reason why that they're not here but is that true anybody attending tech ed from outside the state okay so just a couple people most people are from from uh, Florida all right well as we start I want to give you a little history of what took place. Joe Healy is our Florida evangelist, and there's his picture on the left-hand side. You'll see him popping in and out all day, and I hope you take the opportunity to thank him for doing all of the legwork to get this thing started. He saw this space available in this weekend, and basically got all of the Florida user groups to participate and to run these programs and a little history behind what we were going to name this thing. We we're going to name this thing DNN University, okay? And Mike Webb, who's up on stage with me, uh, is very, very active in the .NET Nuke community. He, his company is one of the sponsors for this event, and I'm very lucky to be working with him on some workshops and also the Orlando and user group where we started six months ago and we have close to 50 members as of last count of yesterday, we were sitting at 49. So I went to Mike and said, Mike, I need some help with this event. Mike says, what do you need? All right, well, we need to advertise the event. So in March when Orlando had its code camp, Mike's company sponsored Joe Brinkman from Dot New Corporation to come to Orlando and to speak. And he wanted to do better than that. Okay? If you know Mike, Mike is the one who printed out these brochures, which I was absolutely floored with, that you all have for this particular track for the day. So Mike thinks very, very big. All right? So what he wanted was, hey, why don't we get sponsors, if I can do it, why don't we get other sponsors to sponsor the entire .NET Nuke team? All right, so what inspired after that was .NET Nuke saying, hey, we like this idea, and we'd like to not only do it for Orlando, but we'd like to do even more of this for the community. So I was at that meeting yesterday, with Microsoft's managers of user groups, and this is something that they really want to do as well. So it's a win-win situation, and all you're paying today is parking and lunch. All right, so it's a win-win situation for, for everyone, and I like the fact that, that everyone is, you know, just helping each other out and working with each other to, you know, work with the product even better. We have a full, program for you today and what I would ask of you to do right away is to please mute the cell phones and, and I got this from yesterday because I was sitting in some sessions and phones were you know going off all over the place and it really was annoying for those that wanted to learn okay so and the other thing I, I've asked the speakers to do is to stay on track with the time. If you want to learn more about what we're talking about during that session, there is an open space area, which is a couple of doors down, that you can go to and you can spend some time and talk more about whatever it is that you want to learn more of. Okay? Uh, in that open space area, they are also giving out swag. At the end of the day, they basically said whatever it is that we have here that people don't want to take back with them, they're just going to give away, okay? So it really is worth stick, sticking around. 
Uh, after Mike and I talk about best resources to learn.net new, we have Will Stroll, who is a Skinner and Mod developer in the Orlando area. He will be talking about skinning tips and tricks. Uh, Raul Rodil uh, from Arrow Designs will be talking about an introduction to .NET Nuke installing and upgrading. Then we will have lunch, all right, on your own at the food court. And then in the afternoon we have full sessions with Tracy Witten Keller from South Florida talking about building websites with .NET Nuke. And then Daryl Hardy is going to be here to talk about securing your connection strings. And then we have Nick Caliani talking about the next generation skins with the new version of .NET New uh, Cambrian that's coming out soon. Uh, I was talking with the, the uh, people yesterday from .NET New Corporation and I don't know how many people have upgraded your security for 4.8. All right, already. And how quick was that that came out? I was extremely impressed with that. And mind you, that they had to stop what they were doing on Cambrian to, you know, put in this, a, the uh, code for that to get that up and running, and and then they're going to go back to Cambrian, and that will be released soon. So we'll be able to you know get some learning on that this afternoon. And then we have a panel discussion with whatever questions that you have of the .NET new team. So save your hard questions for them, and ask us the easy questions. <laughs> and then I was asked for you guys to stick around because there are some uh, uh, great uh, prizes and giveaways that all of the sponsors for this particular event have given out, uh, are planning on giving out, and there's also a Visual Studio Team Suite uh, MSDN Premium that is going to be given out as well. Okay? Now, why a session on best resources to learn .NET new? Well, first of all, you have a lot of colleagues that you are working with and you are probably answering the same questions over and over and over again because they're just not getting it. Or you have customers that you need to train yourself. Or I was talking to a mod developer just this morning that basically needs to know he's got himself a job on skinning and he needs to learn how to you know, do some skinning. Okay? So whatever it is, this is basically, you know, we're trying to help you, all right, find something that is going to help that person or help yourself, you know, learn. Okay? Uh, Mike Webb, I met several years ago at a uh, code camp. We talked about the different versions of .NET Nuke. It's kind of interesting in regards to when you talk to people of, hey, how did you get started with computers, all right? Like I got started 25 years ago when I sold the original IBM PC. And you, you read people's blogs and you read about the fact of, you know, how do people start with, with PCs and, and what we're interested in is how do people start with uh, .NET Nuke. And when Mike and I started talking at the code camp, all right, you want to tell them what I said that you were? You know what I said? I said, well, you must be an old dinosaur. I didn't think I'd say, oh, but you must be a, you know, a dinosaur, all right? In regards to, you know, when you first started, okay? And the frustrations that we all had with the earlier versions of, you know, .NET Loop, whether it was an install, whether it was a, a web config, something screwy that was there, whether it was just, you know, trying to figure it all out. Well, we've come a long ways, and we'll talk about the history here in regards to a short period of time. So, the first thing I want to talk about is why .NET new. A lot of the SharePoint people are basically saying, "Our, you know, 